Hello vlog. It is 20 past 7 and we're still in the labs. No, it's not like dark outside. Right, Mika, Shula's also here crafting. Um, Mika's about to give us a young demo of his project. Check at these bad boys. Good work. <laughs> So what's happening here is that Mika is driving the front car and then the back car is autonomously following the front car. It's pretty damn awesome. Yeah, it's just a bit panicky at the moment. Yeah, you've been testing some new parameters. But look at that, man! It's like a little dog following the front one. Tesla, if you're looking for a new employee, Mika has basically built your self-driving car in a single, single semester. <laughs> now, bruv, looking good. Yeah, it does look good. I'm going home now. I'm so tired. I'll show you another time. Your project's looking great, man. Look at that. <sighs> no. <laughs> Robot arm, hey? Yeah, but I mean, it could be more aesthetic, it's but it's fine. Yeah, it's fine. <sighs> Whatever. I just need to pass. I'll fix the stuff and make it look better when in December. <laughs> Good morning, it is 20 past 6 and it's time to go to the run club. Let's head out. <laughs> Jacaranda trees are still here, still blooming, but they're all going to be on the floor really soon. Oh, it's so early. I'm so tired. Um, I'm going to be working a lot on my um, hand rotations thingy for my project today. Basically I need to rotate my hand and have a cube move in different directions. Um, I spent all of yesterday working on my surface detection, which is actually working really nicely. So it's to detect the table or the desk um, and I had to like, change up my algorithm. Hey look who it is! Hi you bruv! Alright that's all good. Um, I just I worked the whole day yesterday on my surface detection algorithm because it has to detect the table, the surface of the desk, so that I can place my virtual cube on the on the table, on the desk, and not have it fall through. And so I uh, implemented a kind of ransacked algorithm and some plane detection uh, with the normal vectors. And it's really good, yeah. So you can see, like, the purple is the table surface, and then the um, the white here is the extracted uh, surface of the table. So that's really nice. Um, and yeah, it's working pretty well. I've got um, two weeks and like two days left. It's Friday today till the final report has to get in. And that report is, has to be 50 to 75 pages. So I'm just grinding, for, grinding on the implementation this week. Whatever's uh, I've got working on Sunday night is what's going in my report because I need that full two, work, full two weeks to work on the report. Because I've got um, only about 10 pages so far. So I need to grind on it a lot in order to get it done. It's going to be a tough few weeks. And I still have other stuff to do like my EDC Prac 3. Hey, how you doing, bro? Good, man. What's up? Not much. And yourself? It's yeah, sure. all good. How's the vlog? Hey, this is Greg and if you... I'm sure the vlog's met you. Yeah. Yeah. What you doing today on this nice Friday? Um, sure working and then going for a potential job interview. Job interview. Sort of casual job Your interview. Adult life, hey? Yeah. So yeah, I'm particularly stressed about project because there's a lot to do in the next two weeks. But I'm going to grind. I'm going to discover some new energy drinks. I'm going to try get one or two runs or gym workouts in there. And looking forward to finishing on a high, finishing project, like just with a supreme amount of effort. Yeah, anyway, see you on campus. Oh, 
and I'm in the labs now, about to start some good graft for the day. I uh, have, if you, you can't see it right now, but um, I removed the cover, like the rubber cover off of my desk yesterday. You can see there's actually a nice wooden desk underneath because I realized that the Kinect camera, it works using infrared uh, projection within an infrared camera, reads in and sees how that infrared mesh has been deformed. That's how it, it uh, discovers depth data for all the pixels in the image. I discovered that that rubber surface is like completely IR resistant. It wasn't reflecting any of the IR information, it was just reflecting uh, back, which is represented in the code as black, like noise. You can see in these two pictures here, one is with the cover on and one is without. Like you can see all the noise in that one and then like the nice orange surface underneath. So I literally had to remove the cover and bam, now I can suddenly get the depth information of the table, which is used for my service detection algorithm, which I described to you earlier. But yeah, let me get going on the rotations and taking a huge data set. It's gonna be a rough day, but it's Friday and uh, I don't know, there's no cause to celebrate it being Friday. I'm coming to the labs tomorrow anyway. <laughs> So in addition to getting my surface detection working, I've been spending a lot of time this morning curating a new data set for my um, downwards, sideways and upwards facing classifier for my hand because I need a bunch of different classifiers in order to rotate my cube around different axes. Um, and so here you can see working I have um, my predictions. I don't know if having my hand in this frame is going to fuck it up, but yeah, my hand here on the left facing upwards, facing sideways and facing downwards. But because I'm obscuring it, it's not working, I'll show you better with this one. Um, facing sideways, facing upwards, facing downwards. Yeah, and it's working pretty nicely actually. I just generated a lot more input data and then cleaned up the data set. And yeah, I think this data set's got 4,200 images in it. So not too many, but nice clean data set and it's working quite well. So now I'm gonna do the same for my um, left up and right classifier, my down in and up classifier, and my first no first classifier. And that's hopefully gonna allow me to rotate the cube about the X, Z and Y axes, as well as determining whether the cube should be grabbed or not. <sighs> yeah, it's Friday today. Got the whole of today, tomorrow and Sunday to get this shit working as well as possible. And then I'm leaving it to work on the report. So that's the plan, and uh, I'm gonna get back to it now. It's just before 12, so I've got an hour till lunch. Taking these hour lunch breaks is still like, so important for my mental health, so I've really been appreciating them. Negative J1? Because when he used negative J4... Smile, everyone. What's his 4 gig gram? Uh, yeah, 4 gig. Yeah, that's why. Right. So mine only worked with J4 because of a neck. So because I'm procrastinating for my project, I'm coming to bother Mecca. Mecca, how's the, uh, how's the project going over here? It's going. Um... You know what you got over there? Tell us. The camera. I'll show you now what I've got. So, you won't see anything about Malta. Is, uh, Mika's project is um, self following robot cars. You've either already seen a demo of it or there will be one coming soon. <laughs> oh, yeah, all right. Okay. Um, <laughs> don't really explain the whole gooey thing. Just explain some of the more interesting parts. Okay, so um, the two red lines we have in the middle are the steering axis. So if you move <laughs> Mitch out of the way and the marker, you can see they shrink with the size and if you have them in the middle, there's the middle, uh, they're green and if you move it outside the middle they're red. So that's basically just when to start steering to correct it. Um, then you've got the PV controller for the longitude and the PI controller for the steering and what inputs it thinks are necessary right now. This is all broken at the moment. <laughs> this is for to try and fix that and there's a whole bunch of other information and, yeah. and all of this is to get the that the controller to follow the other car properly with that on, that on it those are, are called the ruka markers right yeah correct okay. but i might change them to april tags because they might be faster and there's, there's like a specific pixel pattern that the camera searches for yeah that's it yeah because uh robot boys here look really cool look like oh, the projects are coming together <laughs> <laughs> two and a half weeks I'm, uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm going the uh, BHF because we have like a demonstration presentation in November for this project, obviously. Um, and so it's like a formal event, so you got to dress up and shave by then. So I can't do November, so I'm trying to do no shave October, looking very rough and patchy. But hey, shows the physical decline alongside the mental decline. <laughs> yeah, but looking great, bruv. Thank See you. See you later. Hey guys. Go to the printer shop.
What's hey. up? Hey, what is up? How's project going? Ah, it's okay, we're making yeah. breakthroughs. Slowly That's all winning. good. Cool. You want to explain, you wanna explain your breakthrough? Yeah, so essentially what I've broken through is I've gotten my image processing by first principles. So if I'm running my code over here. What's your project again? My project is making a physical implementation of Pac-Man where I'm going to have two robots navigating this bad boy with a camera centered above. And it's going to make the Pac-Man, which is controlled by the user, get chased by the uh, ghost controlled by the computer. That's so cool, man. Yeah, so if I run my code, you can now see... Oh dear. Green ball over there, red thing over there. And that's going to be on top of your ghost and your Pac-Man? Yes, exactly. So you can see the red is identified. Ignore Mika's shoe over there. <laughs> Mika's shoe. And you can see the green stress ball over there with the correct center points of each one being displayed. And that's yeah. what I'm going to need for my tracking. That's what I talk about. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Finished project on the way. Slowly. Yeah. Ideally. And Shula, how are you doing over here, man? I'm doing good. I'm just putting hardware back together because, um, yeah, I've broken so many things. So just putting yeah. it back together. Ah, but that's, uh, that's the iterative process. Yeah. What's your project, the robot arm? Yeah, so it's a robot arm that tracks human movement, right? So my arm moves and then the robot arm will move. So cool. But right now, this looks like trash. <laughs> so. You still have this muffin here from yesterday. It's been here for three days, dude. Why is it still just, here? Eat it. I'm gonna throw it away. It's already, it's, it's gonna have mold on it. It's so dodgy, man. Hey, if you're an engineer, right, you, uh, you don't have time to eat. Nice. And you 3D printed all of this hardware. Yeah. So impressive, man. I will leave you to your work. Thanks so much. So it's um, 18 past 7, just uh, about to go home, cook some dinner, I'm really tired. I um, had a really good day, I've got a lot of my stuff working. Lots of my cube rotations with my neural networks and my grabbing and my surface detection and yeah, things are looking positive, just need to keep on putting in the graft. Um, I'm committing uh, constantly to my Git repository just as a backup for all my files and to keep uh, progress and versions of my different code implementations. And my Git commit graph looks like this. And it's really impressive when you see like the ramp up of commits of code and uh, work that I've been putting into code. Um, so yeah, it's motivating to see that graph go up. I don't need these sunglasses now because it's way too late. It's dark outside. Um, but yeah, productive day. I'm going to be back in the labs tomorrow to continue working on this just so that I can graft, graft, graft this weekend on the implementation and then have a solid two weeks for the report. I think I've said that about three times in the, this video already today, but it's all that I can think about at the moment and literally like my mind feels like nothing else is going on in the world. I'm sure there's geopolitical events going on in the world right now, but I'm just so laser focused on this project. Yeah, I'm looking forward to having it done and so I can have a bit more balance in my life. Hey, what's up? Long time, no talk. It is the last day um, of our project report that we can work on it. It's due tonight at midnight. It's pretty good so far. I've cut it down from 86 pages down to 76, 77 at the moment. It needs to be 75 in total, but I still need to add some figures in that. I'm about to go to campus just to get some last couple of figures with my Connect and my system. It's basically working. I can move the cube around, I can rotate it. I can't meet all my specs exactly how I promised to at the start of the year. Um, but I've justified it really well. I've uh, filled my design and implementation section with a plane detection, object detection, um, virtual object control scheme, convolutional neural network design and implementation, all the things and subsystems that have gone into building the product as a whole. And so yeah, feeling confident is the wrong word, but optimistic, cautiously optimistic. This is just my to-do list for the past several days. Uh, that's everything that was done yesterday on Sunday and last night. Stuff that I've done already this morning, including writing out some algorithms uh, using the LaTeX algorithm package, removing flow diagrams, scaling stuff. And yeah, I'm about to go to campus and get some results. Um, it's been a long, long weekend and a long road to get here. I'm really excited to be done with it. So let's head out. It's not winter again today, but it's raining so hard and it has been for like the last two, three days that it's actually really cold today and I really don't want to get wet going to campus. So hence the long, outf long attire. It's about an hour and a half later, got my results. Time to go back and uh, lock myself in my room for the rest of the day. It's looking good.
Good morning. It is the day of my final project demonstration and presentation. I'm really stressed, uh, but really excited because it means I get to wear a suit. It means I get to wear a suit today. I'm super keen for my presentation. I've just been preparing for it now. I'm gonna head off to campus. I will see you there. Hey, what's up? I finished my demo. It went amazingly. Um, they let me finish my presentation. They asked some good but simple questions. One really hard uh, question, which I didn't really know the answer to. Um, well, I, it was about one of the systems I'd built. It wasn't so great, and I, I, I didn't really try to optimize it because I only built it in right at the end of the uh, project. Um, but otherwise, yeah, I came down, demonstrated. It worked um, almost perfectly. Um, one prof tried to use it, and it kind of broke because he had his hand too close to the camera. But then we discussed it and why it had happened, and I mentioned it in my report, and it was actually a limitation of the hardware. So yeah, I think it went perfectly like smashed it what a way to finish um so yeah i'm just sitting here starting to study for ec for my exam tomorrow well not starting continuing to study um but yeah what a great way to finish project can't believe it's done <sighs> honesty feels incredible but uh, i can't really absorb it just yet it'll be more real when i finish my test tomorrow so yeah i'm gonna get back to it I'll chat to you a bit later back at home